Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Pentax K1000. It was manufactured from 1976 to 1997. So 21 years. That's a pretty long run for any single model of a camera. Initially they were made in Japan. Then manufacturing was moved to Hong Kong and eventually to mainland China. They got a little bit cheaper and lighter over the years with more plastic. Um, some of the rods inside the top plate and the bottom plate uh, in the last of the series were plastic. This one's still metal. Uh, it has a uh, rubberized silk horizontal focal plane shutter. It goes from a thousandth of a second, that's the 1000 in the K1000, to one second plus bulb, uh, it does uh, flash sync at 1 60th of a second, has a non-dedicated hot shoe. It's a manual everything. Uh, it takes one uh, common LR44 type battery, but that's only for the center of the needle meter in the right of the viewfinder. It works just fine without metering with no battery in it. Um, it'll do uh, exposure values 3 to 18. I think that's given with an f2 lens. Uh, ISO is selectable from 20 to 3200. Takes the Pentax K mount lenses. Uh, these lenses were introduced with K series cameras in 1975. Um, any of them that have an aperture control will work on this body including a lot of the more modern ones. Just if it's an A series rather than the Pentax M, don't set it to A because this will not do aperture priority auto exposure. I mostly shot with this uh, Pentax F2 50 millimeter and a bit with this uh, zoom lens. It's a Rokinon 80 to uh, 200, I think. Yeah, it's fixed aperture um, f4.5, so not real bright, but like uh, the last Canon zoom that I reviewed, you know, it'll maintain that aperture uh, throughout the entire zoom distance. Has decent uh, macro capabilities too. Um, anyway, uh, with this kit, this is my girlfriend's camera, also a nifty Vivitar flash, which works just fine. This camera is notable for what it doesn't have. No self-timer, no depth of field preview, doesn't do mirror lockup, no interchangeable focusing screens, it won't accept a motor drive, doesn't do auto exposure of any kind. Um, they're built like tanks, even the later plastic ones I've heard, I haven't shot with one. Um, you can drop them on their head and they'll survive. These are still really in demand for uh, photographic students or people wanting to get a taste of manual only uh, photography. This one, being one of the metal ones, weighs 620 grams, about one and a third pounds. So this thing is really, really tough. I really enjoyed uh, shooting with it. You just, you know, match up the needle and you know depending on what kind of an effect you want choose your aperture or choose your shutter speed and match the other one and away you go it is a blast to shoot and it's got a really satisfying ka-chunk it's a really really fun camera i can see why they're still in demand so i ran uh, some horrendously expired kodak slide film through it Amazingly, it came out pretty good. Uh, it's old. It was my first time doing E6 processing, so I was pretty happy with that. So I'll run something, uh, something else through it. I'm not sure what, and I'll see you then.